go ahead. Alright, so this is the map of Columbia. Um, this is where Bioshock Infinite takes place. Uh, these are the different types of units that you have. Uh, the square ones are commons. They're the wimpiest units. The circle ones are specials. They are the moderate units. And then the stars are your leaders. They're the most powerful. Um, if you notice, there's also different colors, uh, obviously. Um, uh, dark red and light red would be the two players for the four player game. They're on one team. And then dark blue and light blue would be the opposing team. Uh, in the two player though, it's just blue versus red. Okay. Um, uh, in the game, uh, we have different locations as well, different structures. These are turrets. Uh, you can build them any location that you control. These are strongholds. And then these are alarms right here. Um, and they each do different things, and you can buy them the same way that you can buy units. Um, they also pro uh, provide different benefits. Uh, and then there are uh, random encounters as well, which you can fight in order to gain more silver dollars, uh, silver eagles. And those are the different pieces of the game. There are various other pieces as well. This is a destruction piece. Uh, whenever, whenever anything is destroyed, this goes here, and all units and locations on that spot are destroyed. There are also the silver dollars, which are the money. And then there are upgrades. Um, this unlocks the power of a card, and this gives a unit a stat upgrade. And the very last piece, aside from the dice, are victory points. And victory points are how you win the game. Uh, and the goal is to get to 10. Uh, red team are trying to get 10, and blue team are trying to get 10 points. There are also uh, four different colors dice. Uh, the most powerful units get the red dice, the second most powerful get blue, and the least powerful get white. And then whenever you travel, if you notice there are little monorails that go around everywhere called the skyline, they get golden dice. And that's how you travel around. Uh, in order to get victory points, you either have to control territories, and so if you control 11, 12, and 13, you get victory points, or you get victory point cards. And in order to do that, you have to reach the criteria on the card. Uh, there are also vote cards that influence the game, and they'll do different things depending on uh, whether you're on the founders or the um, uh, red team. Yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs> Also, captain cards, which uh, each faction has, and they give a global benefit to your whole team. And you can have multiple choices of them as well. And there is the Elizabeth timeline. There's a lot of different pieces. Yeah, there is. Yeah, this is the Elizabeth timeline. Um, this is Elizabeth, one of the characters from the game. Uh -huh. uh, she benefits and. Uh, not benefits the game, but she adds and takes away from different aspects of the game so that either taking away uh, upgrades or uh, giving players more cards, things like that. Uh, and here is a player card. This has the turn phase and how much everything costs, different rules, how you get upgrades, and then how you keep track of all your upgrades. I think that's everything. Okay, great. Thank you. Sorry. I hope that was good. Oh, that was great.